In this tutorial we will do semantic segmentation using RealSense camera. The upper left image is an original image from the RealSense camera, and the image on the right lower side is a result of semantic segmentation. In semantic segmentation inference is done on each pixel. The color label for each image is shown on the right side of the screen. As we can see, it recognizes the cats correctly. In this image we have two dogs. With smaller object size, inference result becomes worse. This is an image of a horse. The network is able to detect thin parts like legs. Overall, considering Jetson Nano's computational capabilities, this is a good result. Now let's take a look at theory. What is semantic segmentation? Semantic image segmentation is the task of classifying each pixel in an image from a predefined set of classes. Semantic image segmentation is used in various fields. In medicine, semantic segmentation technology helps doctors to identify tumors and other diseases. For example, it is used in identifying pancreatic cancer which is difficult to find because the pancreas possesses a complex background and has blurred boundaries with other organs. In autonomous systems, semantic segmentation is used to detect drivable regions for autonomous cars or delivery robots. Semantic segmentation is also used in geographical analysis to segment different types of land such as houses, trees and fields. Now let's see how semantic segmentation works. In this tutorial, we are using SegNet. It was created for road scene understanding applications, which require ability to model appearances and shapes and require understanding the spatial relationship between different classes such as roads and sidewalks. SegNet has an encoder network and a corresponding decoder network, followed by a final pixel-wise classification layer. The encoder network in SegNet is topologically identical to the convolutional layers in VGG16. At the encoder, convolutions and max pooling are performed. In SegNet, while doing 2x2 two two max pooling, the corresponding max pooling indices are stored. During upsampling, the max pooling indices at the corresponding encoder layer are recalled to upsample. This makes the training process easier since the network does not need to learn the upsampling weights again. Since all the fully connected layers are removed, the number of trainable parameters reduce. Now let's see the actual program. As a base, we will use this Dusty NV Jetson inference repository. Scroll this page. In the System Setup section, click on Building the Project from Source. To get the required files, all we have to do is to execute these three commands. Firstly, git clone this project. Then move to the Jetson Inference directory and update submodules. Before building our project, we will install Python development packages to create bindings for Python 3. Install libpython3 dev and python3 numpy. Next, we are going to configure the build. Move to the Jetson Inference directory. Create a build folder and move to it. Execute the CMake command. In this window, we should choose which model to download. In this tutorial, we will use only the Pascal VOC 512 by 320 model, so uncheck other models using the space key. After selecting the model, press the enter key. Also, 
you will be asked to download PyTorch. In this tutorial, we will not train DNN models, so choose the skip option. After configuration is done, execute the make command. Then, execute make install and ld config. The ld config command is used to tell the system about new locations of shared libraries. Now we are going to install librealsense. Go to this page. Clone this repository. Move to install RealSense SDK directory. Before executing build librealsense shell script, we need to do some modifications to avoid building process stopping due to memory shortage. Go to the install RealSense SDK folder. Open the build librealsense shell script. At line, time make j numproc, change numproc to 1. Execute build lib real sense shell script. Basically, the installation of lib real sense is complete but we need to do some modifications to make it work with Python. As you can see, the program shows that Python files should be in this directory. But actually Py real sense related libraries are in another place. They are in this directory. So, open the bash rc file. And modify the last line. Source bash rc file to apply changes immediately. Check whether you can import pi real sense normally. Now let's see what modifications we have done to initial semantic segmentation code to make it work with real sense. On the left side is the original code and on the right side is the modified one. The difference between these two codes is that in the original code video source is created, whereas in the new code we are using Pi real sense library directly. There are two important points to take note of. Firstly, here, image size is cropped from 640 by 360 to 512 by 320. 512 by 320 is the size of the model we are going to use. Note that to get best inference result, image should be the same size as the model. Secondly, here we should convert NumPy array to CUDA tensors. In the original code this is done in the capture function, but since we are not using capture function, we do it here. To execute this script, move to the Jetson inference python example directory. Type script name and network name. we have successfully executed semantic segmentation. In the next section we are going to execute semantic segmentation using ROS. Let's begin from installing the ROS melodic. There is a script which is useful for installing the ROS on Jetson Nano. Go to the Jetson Hacks page. Copy the URL. Execute git clone command. Now, move to the install ROS directory. Execute the install ROS shell script. This is all we have to do to install the ROS. Now we will install some ROS packages required to run YOLO with ROS. Install ROS Melodic CV Bridge. 
CV bridge converts between RAW's image messages and OpenCV images. We are going to modify a CV bridge C make file to make it work with OpenCV4. Move to this directory. And open CV bridge config C make file. Go to the line 96 and change open CV to open CV4. Save the file. Install the image transport package. Image transport package provides transparent support for transporting images in low bandwidth compressed formats. Install the TF package. TF is a package that lets the user keep track of multiple coordinate frames over time. Install the dynamic reconfigure package. This package is used to provide a standard way to expose a subset of a node's parameters to external reconfiguration. Install Diagnostic Updater. Diagnostic Updater contains tools for easy updating diagnostics. It is commonly used in device drivers to keep track of the status of output topics and device status. Install Vision Messages. Vision messages are used for interfacing with various computer vision pipelines, such as object detectors. Install the image proc package. This package contains the image proc node and crop decimate nodelet. We will use this package to crop images obtained from RealSense. We have installed all the required libraries. Now we have to create a workspace. Create a segmentation RS workspace and a source folder using mkdir command. Move to the segmentation RS directory and execute the catkin make command. Now move to source folder. To do semantic segmentation with RAWs, we will use this repository. Copy the URL and use the git clone command to make a copy of the repository in your system. We also will use the RealSense RAWS repository, so download it too. Create a new launch inference package using the CACIN create package command. Move inside the launch inference directory and create a launch folder and a launch inference launch file inside it. Let's see inside the launch file. Here, we specify that we want to align depth frame to RGB image, and we are setting the image size. The original image size is too big. So we reduce it to 640 by 480. Here we crop the original real sense image to our desired image size. Note that we also remap topic names. In this part, we set various variables for semantic segmentation. Basically, we need to set only model name, and other variables can be left as they are. When launching the node, the topic name should be remapped to the output topic we previously defined in image proc. Now we are ready to execute the program. Launch the launch inference launch file. We have successfully executed semantic segmentation with RAWs.